Hey class, Mrs. Gilling back here again, and we are going to go over your unit one video assignment all about focus notes. But before we do, we have, I know you love this part, the joke of the unit. You ready? Secretary to psychologist. Doctor, there is a patient here who thinks he is invisible. Psychologist, tell him I can't see him right now. <laughs> Get it? Invisible. You can't see him right now. <laughs> Woo! You guys, this is the best part of the course. Come on, joke of the unit. All right, hopefully you loved it. If you didn't, sorry. Let's move on to some stuff about focus notes. So like, if you've watched a welcome video, I talked a little bit about focus notes, and we're going to have them in each of the units, and so I wanted to kind of go over them a little bit with you, help you understand the expectations, what to look for in them, and, and how they're going to help you. But this is what they look like. Um, in a nutshell. So on the top here, it says topic slash objective. In that box, I want you to write what the unit is about. And usually you can find that at the very beginning of the unit. It'll say, you know, unit nine and or unit, unit five, and it'll say what it's about. And you'll write that down. That's what you're learning about that that unit. So kind of in a nutshell, if you were, if your friend were to say, hey, what's this unit about? Boom, that's what you put in the topics list. Objective. On the left hand side, you'll start with some vocabulary words. And generally the vocabulary words are in order. Sometimes there might be a little snafu where they're a little mixed up, but usually they're in order of, of when you start in the unit. So when you come to one of the vocabulary words, write down the definition. That's it. That's all you got to do in that part. The, the vocabulary words are already put in for you. You just write the definition. And then when you get down to the bottom, there's some questions that you will answer. Sometimes these are in order. Sometimes, again, they can be a little bit off just depending because sometimes there's things that jump around a little bit in the unit. But if you're paying attention as you study and you have this out, you should be able to catch up on them pretty quick. So these are a little bit harder than the definitions, but I want you to kind of look at the questions, read them, and then figure out the answer and put that on, on the right side there. And probably the most important part, after you're done with the unit and you've completed the vocab words and the questions, I want you to write a three to five sentence summary of what you've learned about. You just say, hey, this unit was about this, and these are the things that are the most important. This is what I learned. These are the questions that I got answered. Just a summary to help you synthesize all that information that you had. You know, it's right there in front of you. Now we got to get it in the old brain, and that gives you an opportunity to do that. So that's that's what it looks like. In, in your course, how will they be submitted? So you have, you have a couple options here. So you may complete these on Google Docs and upload them at the end of the unit if you would like. There's a link that you'll see in just a second that you click on and it says click here to access this document and you'll click on that link in your, in your focus notes assignment section and it will bring you to a Google Doc. As long as you're logged into your school Gmail account, you do need to be logged into your school Gmail account to access it. So while you're logged into your school Gmail account, click on the link. It'll bring you to the Google Doc, and you can go file, make a copy, and then you'll have your own copy that you can edit and put in all the answers and the responses, and then you can submit that to me at the end of the unit. There'll be a place for you to upload. You can save it as a PDF and upload to me, or you can send me, you can share it with me via Google Docs and I can view it from there, whatever is easier for you. But that's one option. If you want to do it on your computer and just type in the answers into the, your own document, that's totally fine. If you're one of the people that likes to write things down as you go, that's awesome too. You can print it out. If you do, I, I might recommend you making the boxes a little bit bigger, just depending on your handwriting size. It's really kind of up to you. But print that out and then you can fill the notes in by hand, write your summary by hand, answer the questions by hand, and then you can either take a picture or scan and, and upload that and you can send that to me in in this in the system. If you're having problems, you can also just email it to me and I can work it from there. It's really kind of up to you how you complete it, as long as you complete it. That's what's most important to me is that I I get that at the end of the unit. It's really important because these are going to serve as your study guides for the course. If you complete these and you understand everything in them, you will do well on each of those exams that we have. You will do very well. So for the for the first test, you're going to use the unit one, two, and three focus notes. And for your second test, you'll use four, five, and six. And if you keep those and study those, you'll do you'll do really well. This is how they're going to be graded. So you get 25 points for providing the definitions. So those vocabulary words give the definition. You get 25 points for that. You get 25 points for answering each of the questions. 
And then you get 50 points for that one paragraph summary. So please don't skip the summary at the end, guys. Please get that summary done. It's really, that's probably the most important part. That's where you, you show that you're understanding what you're learning and that it all makes sense. So this assignment is actually great based off completion. I'm not going to look at every little thing and, and make sure that it's all perfect and that you, you know, you misspelled this word. That's not what this assignment is about. These are your notes. Uh, I may give you some feedback. I may say, hey, um, take a second look at this definition here. You're, you might be missing a few things, but I'm not going to dock points for it. If I can tell that you gave it your best on the assignment, that you, you put your honest effort forth, that you completed it, right, that you answered all the definition questions, that you answered the questions, then you'll get full credit. And anything, the comments that I leave would be just to help you to, to make sure that you're understanding it completely. And then if there's something that might be tweaked, that I can help you out with that. So if you do those, then, then you'll get full points. That's it, guys. That's how you do do these focus notes. I really hope that you'll take advantage of them. They are worth 10%. Pretty easy grade, if, if I say so myself, but a great opportunity. If you have questions on these, like everything else, please reach out to me. Uh, give me a call. Send me an email. Send me an IM, and I, I will help you out. But I hope uh, your week's going well, guys, and we will talk to you next time. Have a good one.